All right, so I am super excited to bring this video to you. William is one of my favorite people I have ever worked with. So William is an immigrant from Brazil who had a background in healthcare and he came to the US and he wanted to get into a career, but it was not so easy for him to transition back into a healthcare role. So he went online and he started looking into other options and he stumbled upon my videos. Now he ended up buying my College 101 course and ended up consulting with me. Now typically students who go through my College 101 course are originally Americans and so what to do is a little bit more straightforward, but in William's situation, was a little more complicated because a lot of the strategies I recommend aren't available for international students. So we had to get really creative about how we got him a job and he did end up getting a job as a software developer in about six months. So this is gonna be William's story. I am super, super excited to have him come on the channel. He's one of my favorite students I've ever worked with. So if you appreciate me doing interviews like this, go ahead, gently tap that like button. Let's try to get this one to 500 likes and let's jump into it right now. Basically, uh, I already did the introduction guys, but Basically, William, thank you so much for coming on the channel. Um, you know, William is a consulting client, reached out to me a little over six months ago. He's from Brazil and he wanted to get a job in the United States as a software developer or a software engineer. And we kind of worked through his different options and we were able to help him to get a job in about six to six and a half months after he started uh, working with me. And there was a very kind of unique way that we helped him to get a job because his situation was so unique compared to most people that I work with. Um, but uh, thank you so much for coming on the channel, William. I'm super, super excited for everyone to be able to hear your story today. Thank you, Shane. Uh, first of all, uh, thank you for having me here on this channel. Uh, being on YouTube is going to be a very nice uh achievement of my life <laughs> so thank you for that because if you not exist probably right now i'm on the i'm gonna be your on an online college studying for something and maybe after four years <laughs> i get some result but no uh you you save me money but more important you save me time and that's as everybody says time no money can buy so uh you, what do you save me no money can buy ever yes you, and definitely you save me time i want to start to tell the history so i'm a business guy i have company in brazil my family company and uh, my wife is studying in the united states i come here and go back to brazil to take the the, the care of the the company but in the pandemic we stay here in the united states for more than we want so I start to just work at home, and that's is maybe some trick is on my head. I had a not good time, and I was uh, after I go to my family and go to the the doctors, I would decide to get to a new path to put my my head back together like that, and I start to try to understand how is the the United States uh, student programs or graduates or schools and it's hard for someone who never studied here in high school or, or never understand how it works and so few persons on the on internet or i can i can't try i try to talk with my friends who live here for since they are young and they didn't give the high answer and i tried to find on youtube and i find shane and their video is awesome and it helped me a lot and i see on, on the description of the video had the uh shane had a curse and i i didn't like ask or, or think about the price i just paid because i know the content is going to be the the thing i need on the time and it's the the best investment i did for is by the course and i didn't i follow all the the the, the steps over the course, some, some steps not for my age, for my, like, some things more for the high school. So I just skip that. And one of more important things, because on the time I want, I wanted to pursue a, a degree. So my, my target is what degree I want to do, what's the paid best for me, what's the best for the kind of the visa stuff and the best time, the best like arrangement for time, how many, like spend less time. And Shane has like, and the Shane course has a lot, a lot of uh, things to help me out. Like uh, I can make some tests to pass on some, on, on some uh, uh, course and, and take less time. But when I went to the college and asked the same thing, they said, because my visa status, I need to follow the 
regular pattern and uh, some options I don't have. So it's a, it's a, it was the disappointment. And I start to follow, try to search not, uh, other things in chain and another guys on the internet talk about the bootcamp. And the bootcamp was for me, I really stepped back for, whoa, it's not possible. Four months is like four years. <laughs> uh, I'm studying medicine before was my background, just my story. I, I don't know if I, I have time to talk about, but I have a lot of background on health. My family, my wife is doctor and I studied five years in medicine. So I know it's not easy to, to get a degree. It's not easy to study and get some knowledge. In. How I can be software development in four months is not possible. <laughs> so, <laughs> and uh, man, I don't have a lot of options. So four months, maybe at least I can try and it can be a good thing. And I start to research. Shane helped me with some, some stuff. Was a lot of interviews. It's a lot of difficult price. It's not, it's not a, a, a cheaper. It's almost 70000 is a It's an expensive course. And I, I paid and start. And it's true. I learned how to code in 14 weeks. was not easy at all. I studied more than 90, 19 hours per week. And I studied more than three languages and uh, four stacks. There's a lot of stuff. I don't know everything yet, but I know how to learn new, new stuff. So I totally support if you want to do a boot camp, go for it. But, but some, some Brazilian guys is talking to me after I said I graduated and I said, it's not going to be easy at all. If you want to go to the boot camp, just for okay, hours is, is, is shorter, is, is easier. But if you not put all your effort, like, on, like you need, you need to put this mindset. Okay. The software engineer degree is four years. I want to be faster. So I want to do in six months, four months. So I want to put all the four years effort in six months too, you know, or more than the four years, because I want to do more, more than, than that. So that was my mindset. I prepare. I put a mindset, I go in on the mindset, I study harder than everybody because that's what I wanted. And after that, I graduated. I started to, I used two weeks to put myself back because it was four months with like a lot of effort. So I calmed down a little bit. I, I, I maybe, <laughs> and I didn't tell you, after one week I graduated, I discovered my wife was pregnant. <laughs> for oh, our tour. Oh, <laughs> congrats. Congrats. That's awesome. Yeah. So it awesome. was a, a mix of feelings and uh, and everything is coming out. And after that, I just finished all my, my uh, curriculum stuff and started to search some jobs. And I got a lot of feedbacks. After just two weeks after I graduated, I got, uh, I think, five interviews and one, one I closed uh, business year. Uh, won it and we made a deal <laughs> so that was the history the after we i knew chain and i learned the job awesome <laughs> all right well thank you for that that little overview um mm -hmm. i think from my perspective i'll kind of tell it from my perspective a little bit okay um so so you uh you bought the course you reached out to me uh through the i believe it through, was through discord Thanks, Thanks, oh that's right through email yeah and I could just tell you're very proactive, which I which I always like. I like students that are proactive. They they reach out. I'm more than happy to help anybody who reaches out to me, but I you know I can't make people reach out. And uh, you were asking me a lot of questions. And at the time when we when we first started talking, you were determined to go to college. And so I think I spent the first month and a half, two months trying to yes. subtly convince you that in your situation, maybe you don't need to go to college because you already had a lot of uh, managerial experience. You know, you you had a lot of experience. It wasn't healthcare, but you, you had a lot of experience. And, and that counts for a lot. Um, so I tried to convince you to not go to college for a while. Finally, I gave up. I'm like, all right, let's try to let's try to figure out which, which college we're going to get you into because you were you were just convinced. Um, and then we looked at different options and all the colleges I typically recommend for people like the online ones. Uh, unfortunately, they weren't accepting international students. So 
uh, we started looking into maybe like local colleges around your area. And we saw like, all right, maybe we can get you through college in like three years because a lot of the options, like you said, that we typically use for people are not available to international students, unfortunately. Uh, so we looked into that, and then and then finally, uh, you thought about you know you saw the boot camp option, and you were like, uh, you yeah, know, I I think it, maybe I can do this, and I'm like, whoa, you changed your mind all of a sudden, awesome, <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah, let's let's definitely uh, c consider that route for you because you have so much work experience already, like you definitely don't need to get a college degree. I have just uh, one one uh, considering that why I changed my mind. Because I, I, I'm, when I went to the college, I studied all my options. So before you, you convinced me, I didn't know the, the, the real situation for, for me. That's the thing, something you maybe sometimes you took a decision without knowing real your situation. So that's the one that the advisor can tell uh, real, know first your situation be, before you take the decision be, between a boot camp or a college or just to start a uh, search a job or, or learning yourself. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, you, you mentioned uh, in the software world, like half the people think boot camps are terrible. Half the people think, you know, uh, boot camps are the best thing ever. Well, the way I look at it is you really have to take it on a case by case basis. So it's like you wouldn't use a hammer to nail in a screw and you wouldn't use a screwdriver to, to nail a hammer, right? Like that, that doesn't make sense, right? You, you use the correct tool depending on the needs of the situation. And so that's why, you know, in my course, I, I always have people evaluate their current situation and then evaluate their goals and then see what, you know, what vehicle, what tool do you need in order to get to your goal? And so in your situation, you had a lot of work experience and I just really did not think you needed to go back to college. Like I, I did not think that was necessary at all for you. I thought that you could very easily uh, learn the skills that you need in order to get into the job in another way. So, you know, when, when people say like, oh, certifications are the way to go, or oh, online courses are the way to go, boot camps are the way to go, college is the way to go. It, it depends on the person's situation always. So after about a month and a half, two months of uh, working with you or so, I think you started the boot camp. Four months later, you finished it. And then, and then right away, you were able to get a job. And uh, I give all the credit to you because you just have a phenomenal work ethic. You have a great attitude. You approach everything with a positive attitude, even when things get super hard. Uh, so I, I give all the credit to you. You you were just like really, really fun to work with. So, so you know, <laughs> all the credit goes to you, William. Oh, thank you. Uh, uh, I have difficult on the past give credit for me. <laughs> so I take this credit, but... Uh, what I can what I can tell uh, I was content creator uh, some while time ago some iPhone blog stuff and I know it's difficult to create some content and yeah I know your content is very niche you spend your time uh, creating some content just for a niche person you you was you can't Waste this time, create a, a content where it's going to be viral on the internet, you know, and make more money than you do. And I, I need to thank you for spending your time saving the people time. <laughs> I like when someone takes the time to create a course with uh, guidance uh, yeah. uh, steps. It's different to just click on your channel and it has a bunch of videos. You spend a lot of time watching the videos you didn't need to to watch so when you have a course with a guidance so you just straightforward uh go to the end, beginning of the end yeah. of the course and, and that's the way i like more like when you have made a course and i know when you made a course you have time you need you need a, a, a charge for your work and that's a, the way the word works so yeah uh, so, honestly, uh, honestly, I, I don't push the course very hard at all. You probably haven't even seen me push it in the last, I don't know, yeah, year or something like that. I mean, it's there. Um, and, but, you know, yeah, it is, it is step is, by step, is, you know, like, if, yeah. yeah, the course is step by step. You can also talk to me uh, if you have any questions or anything like that. But at the same time, I, I put most of the information on YouTube. It's just not going to be like step by step. And it's not going to be uh, it's not going to have like the work sheets that I have people do. I have people complete mm -hmm. worksheets so they can kind of evaluate themselves and stuff. 
but yeah, I mean, the the college system in the U.S., it's it's such a double edged sword because, you know, if you get the right degree in the U.S., especially coming out of high school, it can be really good. It can it can open doors for you. It can be great. Um, if you get the wrong degree, it can set you back for 10 years, 15 years. Um, and I will put a, a link down to the College 101 course below, uh, you know, yeah, uh, please. Yeah, in <laughs> yes. case you guys want to buy it or anything like that. Yeah, I, I can't, I can't, I can't affirm it for sure. This course saved at least three years of my life. A hundred percent. I don't know about the money, uh, the time, because uh, it's not just this, because the thing I learned, I certainly going to use it for my kids. Because as I am not a native United States, so I didn't. Uh, now I don't go to the college, so I, I didn't have the experience to tell by experience. So I have your course to tell him uh, what they can do on the college or on the high school to be more uh, uh, easily uh, going through the, the college. Because I think two things about college: college first for who is came for the high school is the first experience for the real life. You know, you need to take your tests, you need to study to get successful. So it's like the real world, right? You, you, mm -hmm. it's, not, it's not just playing, it's a real world stuff. So I, I think uh, college is not just for the money you get after, it's a little bit of a preparation for life. I think the, the phrase I'm gonna remember forever is one, plan, one bad plan is better than no plan. <laughs> <laughs> yes, absolutely. So important. Yeah. So important. Yeah. So I target my plan. I want to be a software engineer. So that's a bad plan for instance, the first time, but it's the, the plan I have. And then I start to grow in and create a good plan to reach my goal. So mm -hmm. that's uh, one of the things like I remember on my head every single day <laughs> about doing your course and uh, was awesome. Yeah. If you don't have any direction, if you don't have any plan, you're just going to be like a leaf that's just like floating around in the wind. So so that's why it's so important to go into any sort of thing with a plan. And uh, I, I do somewhat agree with your take on college, um, maybe in other parts of the world. In the U.S., uh, I think a lot of young people are actually finding success with alternative pathways. So mm -hmm. um, apprenticeships, online courses, certifications, et cetera. It really depends on the career path that they want to go down. Like that's the biggest thing to me. And then uh, one of my favorite options is if they do still want to go to college, going to like an accelerated or like a self-paced university, such as WGU, yeah. Tatsu, et cetera. Yeah, that, is, that is a great option for a lot of people because they can get a college degree in less than a year sometimes, in many cases, wow. less than two years. Uh, I'm right now with 34. I have my experience to take decisions better than when I was younger. And I remember, I think your course helped me a lot is decision a career what i want to what i want to make for my life and your shits about all this the the path i can make here and your advisors like uh websites i can search what the meaningful of the the the, the career what uh, the start uh, uh the start uh, uh salary or what what the profession what the the graduations do after they graduated that's the things it's very important to not make a mistake. Because sometimes, okay, I want to be a software developer because I want to create my app. But you're not creating your app. You want to work on the other company, guys. So you need to be sure what you want to do. Because if you're not, you waste like maybe just one year, but maybe it's a wrong one year, you know? Mm -hmm. It's better you, you have like, so that's so important. I keep in tell that like knowledge is everything. So before I take the decision, I think I spent two months searching about the decision I take. One thing I wanted to quickly talk about is kind of just the, the lifestyle of software engineer and like how it fit into your goals. So it was uh, software, software developer, I guess I should say. So it's like you had certain goals when it comes to a career that you, you know, is going to be able to really support your family for one and then you also had other goals uh in terms of like you want a career that you actually enjoy you don't you know you didn't yeah. want to compromise on that 
So can you kind of talk about how uh, you were able to sort of find uh, that, you know, software development is that career for you where you're able to meet certain needs that you have in your life, but at the same time, you're not compromising. And you actually told me that you felt like the whole time you were learning coding, even though you were, you know, working like 14 hours a day or something, you, it actually didn't feel like work because you enjoyed it so much. So can you kind yeah. of talk about that? Yes, uh, that is a good thing because when we start to talking, my goal is going to be a, a, a computer engineer, right? Uh, the, mm -hmm. the, I start to search in, uh, uh, computer engineer degrees. And when I start to learn more and you, you send me the links and about how what is this? And one thing came, uh, and came in my attention was the sheet you sent me uh, I think has just 1,000 software engineers graduating per year and has more than 117 jobs listed with this position. Uh, uh, so the gap between the, the graduators and the, the job positions is, is so much. So I, I think it's like for me, this uh, is part of my attention. Then I start, okay, what software engineers do? That was when I see this, okay, I need to pay attention for this position. And I, I start to understand what the software engineers do. And I understand is almost what I was my job. But I, I'm not a coder software engineer before, but I was like a manager because my company, I was my company, I'm manager, the process of all my company. So everything you do in a company, if you like uh, pay, if you sell, if you uh, anything, any process on my company, my system take care. And I'm the responsible to teach the person how to use the system to take this person the, the process the best way. So and and I enjoy work on a computer. I enjoy work solving problems. I'm enjoying doing math, math, uh, math. So the main like requisitions for the positions was the things I enjoy. So yeah, I'm 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 feeling I'm fit for this job. So yeah. I put this a uh, uh, sweet spot position, software engineer, because I like it. And the the way I decide to do the software engineer is is like I, I put some goals. Like need to pay me a set amount after five years. So I put this on the target. I want to have a a very good uh, balanced life. That was the sweet spot. Uh, I take decision to stay on the software engineer. Got it. Okay. All right. Well, thank you for coming on the channel. Thanks for sharing your story. Uh, story's not over. I think we're going to try to get you back on the channel in about another year or so, so we can get yes. an update. Um, but uh, yeah, thanks so much for sharing your story with people. I think a lot of people out there are going to benefit from this, especially those who uh, maybe are midway through their career and they're thinking about making a career change. Uh, people who immigrate from another country that have some kind of special difficulties uh, that people you know here in the U.S. don't necessarily have. Uh, I think uh, this will benefit them quite a bit. Yes, definitely. Thank you for having me here. Thank you for this interview. I really appreciate it. And I will be back in one year and you're going to tell a new story. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Awesome. Let's do it.